What's up guys, Balkan Architect here and in this tutorial I'm going to be modeling this cool looking stadium or arena in Revit. So I'm just going to be going by this project, it's the Arena Das Dunas and th this is just something I'm going to be going by, it's not going to be exactly the same but it's going to be a bit similar in design. And before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and for this I'm just going to be using the architectural template. And before I do anything, I just like to set the units to meters. That's just what I prefer for my projects. And this is quite a big project. And then let's just go here into into massing and sight and let's choose an in-place mass so I'm just going to be modeling this whole arena as an in-place mass and then we're going to be adding other elements later on in project so once you're here you can go over here and set the reference plane just at level 1 make sure that it's there and then here I'm just going to go to reference and I'm just going to choose a rectangle so we're just going to be modeling a reference rectangle of a sort and then I'm just going to go kind of like this and boom, that's it. Just create this one rectangle and then go for the arc and then do this one part here, one part here. And then we can just delete these inner sides, we don't really need them. And just you just hover over it and you just hit tab key, so T-A-B. Usually that's in the left upper left corner of your keyboard and you just delete these elements and you're just left with this kind of stadium like shape so once you have this shape then you can start adding the profiles and just through profiles we're going to be modeling the whole stadium shape and for that I like to use 3d I just prefer working in 3d for this type of a 3d model so I'm just going to go here to a model line and then I'm going to set the work plane and you just go over here and you set the work plane to this over here so this vertical plane on this dot where the arc stops and the straight line begins so you want to make sure that you're there and you set that work plane make sure you check here draw on work plane so it doesn't accidentally snap to some other face that's something you need to make sure and make sure to uncheck 3d snapping so you don't accidentally snap to some other point and then here you're just going a model line and I'm just going to start a rectangle from this corner over here and just pull it out a bit like so. And then just by using the tab key I can select this and let's make this a 8 by 8 meter rectangle. So this is something I need for this type of a project. And then I'm just going to insert a line like so and one vertically over here. And for this distance I'm just going to place in number 2, so 2 meters, and for this from the the bottom it's going to go for five meters and then what you do you just go for a model line start from here go to here and and over here down at the bottom and then just by using trim and extend we trim and extend this and then we select these two and these two and we hit delete then I'm going to go here with fillet arc and just fillet this arc at around two meters or you can go exactly two meters that's okay as well so we have one of these profiles and make sure that it's a closed profile it's just going to make everything simpler so moving on we need a profile over here in the middle and in the end but if we go to set you can see we can't actually set a work plane over here there is no midpoint we can only go with the end points of this arc and to fix this you can go here to reference choose a reference point and then place it on the middle of this arc here it is this is the midpoint and just place that line and when you zoom out you can see we have this reference point and we can use that to set a work plane so just make sure to set a work plane like that and now if we start a rectangle you can see this is the work plane it's kind of perpendicular to this work plane that's okay that's just what we want and then let's start a rectangle like so. Now this will be a different rectangle, it will be a bit higher, so 10 meters here, and for this one 10 meters as well. And then do again the same two lines, one vertically, one horizontally, and for this offset over here, 
I'm just going to go with 6 meters and for this offset over here I'm going to go with 3 meters just making it a bit larger and a bit different and then go here with lines so you start from here to there and you go the same thing here delete this delete this over here and then you just trim and extend this part part and you go here into fillet and you fillet this at around let's do 2.5 meters so 2.5 okay so we have this midpoint over here and let's do the end point of the arc that's over here so first let's just set the work plane and we go here set find this point there you go then we go into model lines rectangle and yeah that's the one the, the right one is selected and we just create a rectangle like here like so okay so now what we need to do is we need to just select this upper port point and do it at 12 meters so this will be a bit higher and then for this one I'm actually going to go with 16 because the actual stadium is a bit longer on this side over here so I'm just going to try to replicate this in this model even though I'm not going to make it exactly as that stadium and then here for this part let's do like four meters and for this let's do an offset of seven yeah seven is okay so then just go to, to here and from here to here okay so once you have this select these two and you delete everything and then you just go trim and extend to this and once you have that you just go here to fillet arc and you go to three meters like so Okay, so once we have this, we have pretty much everything that we need to complete our mass. We just now need some extra work. So just select this line, the, the, the reference arc, and then you select all three profiles. And it, then you go just create form. And you get this stadium, kind of half of a stadium form. And then you select the whole thing. You go into a level one and you hit DM for draw mirror. You go to the midpoint. You pull it down a bit and then you have the both halves and we just need to connect them so just select this part over here this end cap and this end cap go create form there you go do the same thing on this side as well so just select this hold the control select this as well you go create form there you go and now we pretty much have everything to create our form i'm just going to go here to realistic and now you can see the actual form a bit better, it looks a bit shaded. And let's just go here into finish mass, and it gives you some warning, don't worry about that. And now you need to add some material to this, we need to, to this shape. So if I go here to massing inside, you're probably thinking of using this roof by face command. I mean that's some this is a roof so that's what you would use but the problem is roof by face can't go vertically so this roof over here it kind of goes sloped and then it twists around and just switches to the other side and goes down and here we have this little uh, vertical part so this can't really be done by a roof it wouldn't really be applied to this here this fillet portion so what you need to use you need to use actually a wall by face so we need to create a new wall for that so i'm just going to go here to wall let's search for a 300 millimeters go into edit type and duplicate it and let's just call it roof 400 so here i'm just going to type in roof so roof 400 millimeters go okay and let's just go into edit type and change this to 0.4 meters just to give it a bit more thickness so just go OK and OK once again. And then you need to add this roof to, to your massing. So just go, or sorry, wall. So you just go hit here, hit here as well, and here as well. And you just go to the other side, do the same thing. So it's going to take a bit more time for these long curved elements, but don't worry, it will work. And you just go the same, do the same thing over here, over here. okay and over here as well so just go wall and when you finish you can see yeah we need to add these two but as you can see over here we have these kind of everything's connected and everything is one kind of a non-stop surface but if you look at the actual stadium it kind of has some pauses 
over here at certain points. And how do you add these pauses? So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to undo everything. So undo all of these roofs that we have added. And now let's add these pauses. So I'm just going to go here to edit in place and go into level one. And then what I'm going to do in level one is just go here and use this rectangle. Make sure that you're on a level one and then just create a rectangle like so. This will be a void rectangle. So create one over here. Make sure to extend it over here. Give it a bit of an overlap. So like that. Then you select the whole thing and you go just copy and you copy it maybe from here all the way here. Once you have that one, you go here and create a rectangle that's kind of in this middle portion over here. Then you just select it and you make it a bit smaller. You make it smaller over here. Okay, this looks nice. And then let's just do some 45 degree rectangles. So I'm just going to create one over here kind of like this. Select it and just rotate it by 45 degrees. And then let's just place it kind of. I don't know, like that. This looks fine. And then you can just select it and you can use the mirror tool to mirror it around, place it over here. So select these two, go DM for draw mirror and place a mirror over here. So you have something that looks like this. Then you go into 3D and you actually select this one and then you go create void form and then you extend it upwards a bit. Yeah, that looks fine. And as you can see now, it's cutting this shape in half. So you do the same thing with all of these. So you go create void form. That looks fine. And you can select two of them at once and then go create void form because then it will mess up. It will try to connect those two. And that's just not something that you want to have. So here, void form. And yeah, you'll get, you'll get good at it. So it will go fast later on. Okay, and let's do just this one more and there you go so we have this and you probably noticed that I didn't join this geometry when I created everything I didn't go jo join geometry and connect everything don't do that it will mess up later on when you're trying to add the roof or the wall so you just go finish over here and now let's add our wall and complete our model so just go here wall and you select these parts and you just create your wall all the way around. So just do that part. Wait for a second, it's kinda hard on Revit to do these parts, these long curved parts. Come on Revit, be a friend. Okay, and let's do these this as well go to the other side and finish it off over here okay so we have our stadium basically our stadium shape now you need to create all of these trusses that are going over here so you can do th that just by creating an in place family or something like that and then you can add all other architectural geometry okay so this is pretty much it for this video i hope you have learned how to create a stadium in revit now thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day.